Getting enough good quality protein is vital for our overall health and longevity, but most of us fail to do so on a daily basis. So this week's Bite Size Mini Course is going to address just that. We'll be looking at how much protein you need, where you should be getting it from, and how to make it an enjoyable part of your meals. Let's start by looking at why protein is so important for our overall health and well-being. So protein forms the building blocks of all our body tissues and virtually every process in the body requires amino acids, which are the breakdown products of protein, to function. Amino acids are what build our neurotransmitters and our hormones, which is why insufficient protein intake is linked to depression, anxiety and female hormone disorders. So your metabolic rate is governed by hormones and the amino acids are required to produce those hormones. So you can see why getting enough protein is vital for your ability to lose weight. On top of that, protein is the primary fuel for your liver, which is why low protein detox diets are such a terrible idea. So how much protein you need is going to be affected by your uh, stage of life, your age and your body size. In the resource bundle this week, you'll find a table that enables you to calculate how much protein you need. Now obviously if you have a medical condition or if you're pregnant, this might be affected. So if you're at all in doubt, please reach out to me and my team and we're always happy to help. So obviously protein is available from plant and animal sources and it's a very individual decision whether you decide to eat animal products or not. I really think it's just important that we respect each other's position on this. If you do decide to eat animal products, then I would recommend eating them three or four times a week, but not more than once a day. And in this week's resource bundle, there's lots of information on how to select good quality animal products and the environmental impacts of that, and also about how to get the most bang for your buck. All of my recipes have been designed to be rich in protein, so you'll find both plant and animal proteins available. To help you stay on track, I've provided a useful table which shows you how much protein and fat are in common portions of food. And I've also provided a list of my favorite plant proteins to help add diversity to your diet.